Hey everybody, Phil here, and today we're going to take a look at this Telegram app, the NeoWallet Minehot game. The game in and of itself is pretty simple, with only one aim, to mine as many hot tokens as you can. But despite its simplicity, over 3.5 million people have subscribed in the first two months. The reason being is that the game is also Web3 enabled. That means when you claim tokens in the game, it also mines those tokens to the near protocol blockchain, giving people a tangible cryptocurrency that they can have and hold. The problem, as you can see from my screen, is after a few hours, the storage becomes full, and then until you log on and claim, you can't accumulate any more tokens. While people are asleep or at work, this causes a bit of a problem because you're losing out on valuable cryptocurrency that you could otherwise have earned. However, today I'm going to show you in about 15 minutes how you can set up your very own auto claim system with a 24 7 computer doing the work for you. However, before we dive into that, let's take a look down and see how the game works. The landing page to the game is pretty simple. There's options to transfer tokens that you own to other accounts or users. There's a decentralized swap where you can exchange from one token to the other. And the remaining function is the claim hot game in the storage tab. In friends, you have the option to earn a commission or cashback every time a friend joins and makes a claim. In boosts, we see the main mechanics of the game. There's a storage section that dictates how often you have to come back and make the claim. I think level one, you have to come back every three hours before the storage is filled. Here at level four, you get six hours. And if I pay four hot to upgrade to level five, then I can get to come back every 12 hours. In the fireplace, it dictates the passive mining speed. So the higher the level, the more quickly you accumulate hot tokens. And the wood section contains various missions where if you download the app or if you transfer between accounts, you gain a little bit of mining speed for each one. Finally, in the other mission section, you get to back up your seed phrase, make a transfer or do some swaps on this um, decentralized exchange. And for each one you complete, you get a bonus number of tokens. So I think the most important user interaction is clear. You need to claim the tokens often enough that the storage doesn't stay full too long and you maximize the amount of hot tokens claimed. However, if you claim too frequently, because it's on a live blockchain, you'll pay a gas fee for every claim you make, so too many claims will lead to paying a disproportionately high number of gas fees. So here's where my script comes in, and it's going to automate the claiming for us. Don't worry, even if you've never done anything like this before, you can watch and join along as I do the task and see just how easy it is to set the script up. We're going to need to use just a few different websites and I'm going to include the link to all those websites in the text below. So this is my GitHub page. You can see the address there, the Brumby forward slash hot wallet claimer. Here is all the instructions and code that you're going to need to set things up. Don't worry, while some of it may look complicated, the installation script will take care of everything for you. The second thing we're going to need is an always on computer. While some virtual private servers cost around five or $10, Amazon Web Service have a current promotion where if you sign up with them, you get 12 months access for free. While the server is on the smaller side, it'll let you run at least two accounts and claim both of them simultaneously 24 hours a day whenever the wallets become full. Before we dive into setting up the Amazon web server, it's worth pointing out that I don't receive any referral bonus or commission for recommending them today. My two driving forces are one, it's very simple to use, and two, with the hands-on 12-month trial, 
you won't have any costs for the first 12 months of setting up this server. So even if you've never done it before, it's a great way to get involved for the first time. Once you've completed the sign up link, the first thing to do is to proceed into the console. So the first thing we want to click on the landing page is the EC2 tab. EC2 deals with all the elastic cloud computing. <clears throat> As you can see, I have no instances running. So we're going to click launch instance and set up our first instance. First, we'll enter a server name. Claim hot wallet. You can call that anything that you like. Then we need to pick an operating system. All my instructions are in Ubuntu, so I'm going to select Ubuntu. <clears throat> then we'll pick our instance type or the size of the server. The free tier offers one micro server that's good for mining two different accounts at the same time. Then under key pair login, we don't have a key pair, so we're going to create one. I'm going to call the key pair name AWS. Now I'm going to change the type to PPK and click create key pair. And that's going to be downloaded to my computer. The key pair is basically a replacement for the password. The security group is already set up and the default we want. So I'm going to click launch instance. The great thing with these Amazon instances is they take literally seconds to provision. So if we return back to the instances page and click the instance there, which we can see the instance state is pending, we already have an IPv4 address. So to um, progress to the next step, normally I would use a desktop application such as WinSCP3 or PuTTY. However, today we're going to use a web-based option called Shell NGN, just for simplicity. So if I click login with Google and then add server, our server name can be the claim hot wallet. The IP address is the IP address that Amazon have just given us. For authentication, we're going to use a key file. That's the key file we just downloaded on the Amazon web page. And the username for these kind of instances is Ubuntu. Now, if I browse to my downloaded file section, I can see aws.ppk, the file that we've just created. And I'm going to save those details. Now that server has appeared in the bottom left hand corner. If I double click that, it's going to try and connect to the instance. And as we can see, we're already straight into the instance. Next, we're going to take a look back to our GitHub page and find the quick start commands. In addition to the instructions, which can be found at the top of the page, there's an easy to copy set of quick start commands. If we go back to our shell NGN session and paste those in, it's going to start the installation process. The process can take quite a while and it might be up to five minutes. If we go back into GitHub while that's installing, we can see the manual steps that's in the installation script. Firstly, it, involve, it installs the Python programming language and its dependencies. Then the Chrome package, Google Chrome and Chrome driver. It copies the files from this GitHub page, switches into the repository directory, installs the dependencies and runs the script. Now we're starting to get on the home stretch. If we look at our installation files, we can see here that Python is installed. We have version 3.10 and here Chrome driver is installed version 114. Now, if we go back to the GitHub, we can start to copy and paste some more commands. The first command is to make a screen session that's going to stay running even when you disconnect from the server. To do that, we'll copy this page here, screen hyphen s first session, and we'll paste that 
into our browser window. Now we'll for the starting the Python script with Python 3 claim.py. We shall copy that in also. It's going to ask us a few questions regarding what options we want to use. So it wants to know, shall we force a claim? We will use the default no. Should we enable debugging? Well, the default is also no. And should we log in with a QR code? Let's answer yes. It's also asking us if we'd like to create a unique session name, which is very important if you're going to simultaneously claim on more than one account at a time. So I'm going to prepare now in my Telegram app on my mobile phone to link the account using the QR code. And by leaving this empty, it's going to look for the first sequential folder number, which with it being a brand new server should be one. Okay, I'm going to change windows now. You only get around 30 seconds to take a picture of the QR code, so it's important to be ready to move right along. Okay, it says, says that we are linked, so I can now hit the enter key. The QR code has been successfully accepted, that's good, and it's initializing the pop-up window. It's switched into the iframe, found the login button, and now it wants our first seed phrase the 12 words that we were given when we set up our near wallet account okay it's so entered the seed phrase click the continue button okay selected the storage page and the storage is filled that means it was currently full at the time of running the script the pot was full if it had some time left to elapse it would have told us that Okay, the claim button has been clicked and the post claim wait time is now six hours and zero minutes. That means that it successfully claimed the pot. It's going to now add one minute to the time for the pot to be full. So the proposed new wait timer is 361 minutes and it's going to count down in 15 minute chunks until 4.40 in the morning approximately when it's going to be ready to claim the next pot. Now, if we simultaneously press the keys Control A and D, that returns us back to our basic shell and leaves that bot running in the background. But as my wife also has an account, let's carry on and set up her details too. We'll now go back to GitHub to set up the second session. It's worth noting that each session uses around 400 megabytes of memory. So on these AWS servers, you should get one or two um, sessions. If you need more sessions, if you have more accounts that you want to simultaneously claim at once, then you'll have to um, look for a bigger server. So I've copied the code for starting second session. You can, of course, call the sessions anything you want. Let's call the claim script again. So shall we force a claim? No. Shall we enable bugging? Debugging shouldn't be necessary. Shall we log in by QR code? Let's say no to that and see the opposite method. And our folder on this occasion will be number two. So now instead of saving a screenshot of the QR code, it's going to ask us for the country where our mobile phone is registered. It's worth noting that this information isn't saved on your computer, isn't transmitted away from the script. We can always do a separate video at some point um, to go through the script and prove that nothing is transmitted. So I'm going to pop in my phone number there. By default, the information is hidden. Okay, and I've now just received a code to my mobile phone asking me to enter the one-time password. Great, that looks like it's accepted. This method does take slightly longer than logging in with the QR code. Although if the QR code fails and you don't get to it in time, then it's a good fallback method. It took a few extra seconds there to get to the seed trade sentry point, 
probably because the server is on the smaller side. However, we got there and I've now copied my wife's seed phrase. Let's paste that in. Okay, entering the seed phrase, click continue. Hopefully this should now step through pretty much as the first one did. And remember the first one is still running in the background. Okay, good. It's completed the login. Okay, my wife's account also had a full pot. The claim button has been found. Claim button clicked. Hopefully now we should see a, net, a longer timer outstanding. Brilliant. Six hours to the next fill. That means the account's been successfully complete, completed and the timer is set up. If we go back now to our login screen, we type the command screen minus r first underscore session. There we can see the first wallet is waiting and screen minus r underscore second session and the one that we've just claimed is also now waiting. So folks there we have it. In around 15 minutes, we were able to set up an Amazon Web Services account, provision our first server, log into it with Shell NGN. We downloaded all the software we needed and set up two accounts, which are now seamlessly mining in the background every few hours. Hopefully you will be able to set up your account similarly too. If you can or can't, let us know in the comments down below and I look forward to hearing from you.